हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ रेणुका एंड टुडे आई एल मेक टू कार्ड्स बाय यूजिंग अ डाई कट मेथड नाउ हियर आई एम वांट टू स्ट्रेच माय डाइज एंड यूज दिस डाइज फॉर अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो फॉर फर्स्ट कार्ड आई चूज वन रेड कलर फन फोम एंड आई जस्ट कट आउट वॉट आई नीडेड एंड देन आई डिसाइडेड टू एड द ब्लैक सॉरी द वाइट हैवे वेट पेपर टू एट एंड दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी एल बी पेपर from from recollection you can add any nina solar or whatever you have in your hand you can use watercolor papers also but uh, after this um i put this uh, die and cut out the whole thing now uh, in this die there is some kind of embossing uh, texture also so i will get the die cutting and embossing at the same time cause foam uh, is doing the embossing mat here the work of embossing mat here and basically you have to go once or thrice or maybe more than uh, four times cause uh, this become little bit thicker than the regular one and it will um, get lit little more push to die cut out this now after die cutting this uh, you can see that this die is very integrated die you can use the simple dies for doing the same technique but um, i just want to use uh, this die as the hero of my card so i don't want to um make any kind of uh, more distraction on my card or i want to focus on this um, die cut so after that i use my spell binders tool here which came for uh, die cutting and pick outs everything so i use that and i use my hands and for that i took a reference of that die because sometimes when die is very integrate you can't decide that which one is the positive and negative image here as this is a stamp uh saying die like merry christmas you have to see uh that i have i can use only the front portion of this um card and foam base but you can use the back side of it if it is not words means you can use the back side and you can directly put the fun foam in front of your card mm -hmm. that's also mm -hmm. look nice but uh, for this card particularly i am not using that i want that red color little bit peek out from the side when we see that but although i want the card in very neutral colors so i choose here uh first of all i decided that i will put this on a gray color card stock then i decided to add little bit more um color to it so i go with the uh, grayish blue card here and these are paper from dcw and these are metallic papers so it will give a nice shine to the background now i am pla uh, placing this paper on the 5 by 7 the big card one and now i am putting glossy accent on it and little bit tombow mono cause at that time i am running out of the glossy accent but i preferred you to use the glossy accent cause when it dry it dry transparent so you didn't get any kind of white uh residue on your project now i am placing a block here and then uh, just want to make sure that everything is nice and clean so i pick out those extra glue here and there and wherever there are some kind of dots or some kind of dirtiness is there so i put the sequence to hide that so no one will ever know that what happened at the back of this sequence so at this moment this card is complete but i want to add little bit more shimmer to it so i decided to add pink sela pen you can use any spectrum nori pen also uh, for adding a little bit glitter here or you can uh, just dry emboss it now for the second card i choose a dark texture paper here uh, now uh, this texture paper is uh, like the square on it and it is kind of watercolor paper i bought these in a big sheets it's having in my stash for a long time uh, then i decided to give little bit base to it so again i am using that shimmery card stock and now i am using the color uh, which is more to the gray and green kind of wine color then i put this big dot on that and i'll make sure that i put lots of washi tape on that and now i'm cutting it 
now you can see i put a lots of adhesive because i don't want to uh, drag it out any image out of that cardstock i want everything should be stay nice and clean in that cardstock so after that i am using here a peerless watercolor to uh, coloring those images now you can see i start with mary and then i will go to christmas and then i'll color my reindeer or somehow like that now why i'm doing that because i want a different layer colors to make this card so when you are using the watercolor or peerless watercolors you want to add more and more layers on that so the organic way of doing that is you shift the areas when you color uh, rather than using your uh, heat gun or heating tool air drying is always nice rather than uh, heating it you will get a different kind of effect each time it depends on your project and paper also so now i am uh, using um, this peerless watercolor the shades of greens and blue and red uh, for coloring all these uh, things and you can see that uh, sometimes i am just missing those sentiments and it kind of merging all around the background so at that moment i decided to add more colors or layer on only the particular area where i want to highlight it and then i want something to the background so i just go the with the yellow color and I'm just giving a little wash to it and I use the normal watercolors for that. After this, I put it uh, for some time for drying and then I decided to add more color to it. So now here I'm using my Prisma color pens and these are 0.5 pens and it came in a set and they're having different colors in that. Uh, basically you can use the Sharpies also. Somewhere I'm using Sharpie, here I'm using the Sharpies also basically i am just matching the color with those colors which already on the cardstock now i didn't remove my die cut fully i just want to go through and every detail there so i place that washi tape and then when everything is finished i just and add a little bit black glaze paint to add more detail on the reindeer eye so it looks like a reindeer now i want something more on this so i decided to add the white stickle on it so i put some stickle on my fingertip and i just press that all over it so after that i can't decide that which card stock it should be used for the background so then finally i go with this gray card stock and this one is from mft and then just for the highlighting it more i cut out the foam foam panel uh, from the fun foam and just add it to the back side now you can see that how this die cut uh, is in back side also for we are we are we go one and two and three rounds for that and after all this i love to add little bit sequence here and there these are darcy's and pretty pink posh sequence which i am using the mix here and in this way you can see that you can use this die in a different way in a different manner each time so you can stretch your supplies and you will get more out of them cause dies are already uh, pretty costly i will link below that where i buy this die this is from amazon and uh, these are the two cards we make today and you can see the both of them having a pretty different look than the first one if you like my channel please do subscribe to it you can hit a subscribe button you can follow me on facebook pinterest and instagram and you can see more pictures on my blog so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye